All right, you're most welcome back. Thank you very much indeed for staying tuned. And great video right there. We hope all women who watched uh, have been inspired by that very powerful you know, way to start off your or to continue your Wednesday. All right, right now we're going on to our feature guest for this afternoon. She is our Woman Wednesday. Now, I'll do a little introduction to this powerhouse who is small but very mighty. And, you know, when I say small, I mean young in age and not just that she's, you know... Um, a small person. Well, ladies and gentlemen, she's particularly passionate about raising godly families and intercedes on behalf of those trusting God for life partners and fruits of the womb. She's often addressed as the managing director of Newer Heights Limited, an agro-allied company which specializes in the processing and manufacturing of soya bean seeds. As the MD, she oversees overall company operations and the entire operations of the organization. She's also the founder and creative director of Oak Antique, a fast-rising interior design company which specializes in residential and commercial spaces. Ladies and gentlemen, please make very welcome <laughs> wife and mother, Wernike Mulehin. Thank, Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I think the very first question I'll ask you is, mm. how did you find interest in mathematics? You did first degree mm. mathematics, second, second degree, degree fi mathematics. applied mathematics, or what's um, it called? Financial mathematics, financial mathematics, mathematics. And computation. I hated mathematics. <laughs> I barely <laughs> skilled it. How did you do it? Okay, so in secondary school, I also didn't really like math growing up like that. Um, but I think in my junior secondary, I was feeling math of woefully. And then SS1, my father changed school. And then SS1, first term, let's blame it on, okay, I was a new student, F9 again. And then mm -hmm. I decided, you know what, this mathematics, I would know it. Um, and then by second term, I had A1, both in mathematics, further mathematics. So that was how, that was how determined I was. I knew I, was, I, I had to um, pass math. And then from there, you know, the love for mathematics came. And then by the time I was going to choose a course in university, so please, you need to explain <laughs> what tips and tricks did Honestly, you I mean, oh, use? I mean, my mouth was open. I think, I think for me, it's just basically when you put your mind or you set your mind to something, you will achieve it. I think, me, one, I think that's, that's, that's basically... One thing I have to pick out here is that mm -hmm. you might finish with an F9, mm -hmm. but that's not the end. That, mm -mm. Not the end at all. You mm -hmm. might you can still get an A1 in yes. something that is absolutely a nightmare in some mm -hmm. cases. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, so you talk about your father choosing schools for you, mm -hmm. and you, from your profile, it's mm -hmm. obvious you're family-oriented. Mm -hmm. You say that you like to pray for women to mm -hmm. find their spouses. Before you go, you have to pray for some <laughs> women out there. <laughs> and then also, you know, passionate about building godly families. Mm -hmm. what, what drives that passion? Um, because growing up, my parents, they are my inspiration. Um, both of them are best friends. Like, my mom, you can't tell my mom something. Please don't tell daddy this. <laughs> and then she says, oh, no problem. And then somehow down the line, it comes up somewhere. I know that, yes, they, they've talked about it. They are very close. And so growing up, I watched them. Um, you can't separate their fights. Like, if they are quarreling and you want to take mom's side, you know, before the end of the day, we are ready, both of them are ready together. Um, and so, yeah, so they inspired me and, you know, they raised us properly, you know, to um, appreciate, you know, um, godly families. And then they, both of them are pastors and then they raised us, you know, properly. I think that's, that's basically where I got um, the inspiration to, you know. All right. Yeah. That, that's really beautiful and impressive. It tells our parents out there mm -hmm. that the kids are watching mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how you relate with mm -hmm. your spouse mm -hmm. can go a long way to affect mm -hmm. your kids. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your business. Mm -hmm. your, which of all your businesses <laughs> was the very first one and how did you start? Um, it will be Oak and Tick. Um, for Newer Heights, I joined a year after I studied. But in, um, Oak and Tick was the first business. That As an interior decor? That's an interior design and furniture manufacturing company, actually. Um, and that was four years ago. <laughs> Um, so I, had, I have two degrees in mathematics. You know, I thought I was going to be the career woman. So I think that entrepreneurship chose me. Um, and so I didn't want to be an entrepreneur from first. I wanted to be, you know, your 95 chick, badass boss and, mm -hmm. and, and all. Um, and so I, I started working in, an, um, in a consulting firm in Ikoi. And then after six months, I resigned. And, and the reason why I resigned was, or one of the reasons why I resigned was, um, so I had gotten, I'd gotten married, and then I'd done um, our apartment. And then people would come to the house and say, oh, wow, your house is really nice. I didn't think it was anything serious. You know, not one, not five, not ten, not twenty. Once you just step into the house, you know, the first compliment is, oh, wow, your house is really nice. And my husband says, are you sure you don't want to do this as a business? Because every time you go into, apart from the house, anytime you go 
into a space. You know, while we, we are just entering and, you know, mingling with people, you know, the first thing you're just, you know, in awe, if the place is really nice, you're in awe, if the place is not nice, you know, you say it, you can't hide it or keep it, that, you know, this place doesn't really look so nice or why did they choose this color? And then, you know, so he was looking at it from the outside and he said, you know, what? I think you should um, start this as a business. I didn't, I didn't even answer at, at first, but then afterwards, you know, I realized that, you know, every time I went on online, I was always just checking things on interior design and, you know, I just said, you know what, let's go for it. And so when I resigned, I was actually pregnant. I was heavily pregnant. So I, I said, you know what, let me just try this. Let me do my baby's nursery. Um, and then I did the baby's nursery, you know, called some friends to please give me honest feedback. And it was amazing. Um, and then I put it up on, you know, one of the big blogs in Nigeria. Um, and then from there, you know, people started calling. Well, people didn't call immediately like that for the job. But at least, you know, people were aware and they were sending me messages and saying, you know what, I think, you know, we want you to do this and do that. And that, that's how the business started. I mean, it's brilliant. One mm -hmm. of the things I've picked up from what you just said now is that look out for what you're passionate about, mm -hmm. something that you do effortlessly. Now, looking at discouragement, a lot of people who transition from a nine to five mm -hmm. to being entrepreneurs mm -hmm. talk about, you know, the fears that they faced. Some people would not, till today, don't have the courage mm -hmm. to step to out. Mm -hmm. What were the things that gave you courage to make that decision? And what were the challenges you faced and how you um, overcame them? Oh, okay. So, you know, um, like I said, you know, after putting up the nausea on one of the biggest blogs in Nigeria, you know, I was expecting, if I had dropped my phone, I was expecting that the phone line would blow up. <laughs> and I think it was just two people that called. And then those people, two, two of them that called were just like, oh, wow, we just saw your... Um, post and you think we think that it's really nice and everything. I'm like, that's not <laughs> that's, that's not what I was expecting. Um, and so that's why I said, you know, it wasn't immediate. So this was four years ago. I didn't really start getting jobs until like two years ago. But I kept at it. I was telling everybody and anybody. Like you were talking to me and you're saying something different. I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm into interior design. Just in case, if you know anyone, even even if it's not for you, at least we know someone. I just I was depositing seeds in the heart of people. So, you know, you could be somewhere and then someone is just saying, oh, um, and I need an interior design, designer for my space. And then you remember that somebody has told you, you know, and so, um, so that's what I was doing, word of mouth. Um, and then, you know, I would just, someone just say, you know what, can you do me window blinds? I said, no problem, you know, I run, do the window blinds. Can you do me beddings? Can you do throw pillows? Um, because interior design is actually very capital intensive. It's, it's, Somebody has to trust you enough to be able to hand over some kind of money that, oh, design this space for me, you know, they want to test. Um, and so that's how I started. Um, for like two years, it was basically on and off, but I kept at it. And best believe, I haven't att attended um, an interior design school. It's just now that I'm enrolling into um, an interior design school. Um, but all the while, for two years, I was self-taught, so I was... My husband said, you know what, because we just got married. And my husband was like, you know what, we have so many things in front of us. We cannot afford an interior design school. What kind of interior design school you want to go to, we can't afford it. And I said, you know what, if there is a will, there will always be a way. And so, you know, on the internet, Google was basically my best friend. So I would go to work in the morning, come back at night, you know, you know, um, take care of the family. And then probably like around 10, um, you know, sleep till 2 and then midnight, check, you know, school myself, everything, you know, that I learned. Um, and then experience also. At the moment, so basically, that's that's that's. Been I honestly Brilliant. like that you share this story because it makes people realize that you can actually find a way. Where there's a will, there's mm -hmm. a way. The internet is your best friend. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to any school. Mm -hmm. Now you have so many things you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you have this prayer chain where you pray for women mm -hmm. looking for the fruit of the woman, the single ones. You have Okantik. You have this um, the one that has to do with soya bean. You have mm -hmm. so many businesses. How are you able to share your time mm -hmm. uh, with all your businesses, with your husband mm -hmm. and then your children? Okay, so before I answer that, I just want to say, you know, it's not that, um, it's not, you know, good for someone not to go to school. You can, you will still go to school, but don't let that be the, you know, stopping force. Don't let that be what will now make you, you know, stop. After a while, for me now, um, so, so when I tell some of my friends, oh, okay, um, I, I want to go to, and they're like, why? You already know. And I'm like, no, you know, some levels, you know, you would have to attain, you have, you will still need um, that formal education. And so going back to your question now, so that's on basically on balance um, and then finding time with my husband. Um, so it, is, it has to be intentional. Um, this morning after my husband had left the house and now I think we've spoken twice already. Sometimes it might not be, sometimes throughout the day I might not be able to talk to him because I'm busy, he's busy at work. Um, but we make sure that when we get home, 
you know, um, everything stays, his own office, his pastor, um, everything. Yeah, your husband is a pastor. <laughs> yeah, so everything stops. And then even if it's just for 30 minutes or one hour, you know, we make sure that um, we communicate, we talk, you know, how was your day? And then I have a rule actually in the house that for both of us, you must have gist for me, no matter how vain or how, you know, um, how, you know, significant to me. You must, because in that communication is where, you know, the bond actually lies. And then we just, just try to be intentional. I would, I would say it's not easy, actually, to be honest. And then I try as much as possible to involve him in everything that I do. So right now he's a strategist in, he's the head of strategy in his company. And so I make sure that, okay, for my own business also, everything that I want to make, every decision that I make, he knows the, he knows all my clients. He knows that, oh, this person is the one you're working for now. And then he can give me advice. And so I find, find out that, in that, you know, you also, you know, um, bring find a way to yes, bring him into your yes, space exactly, and you into exactly, his own yes, space. Exactly, Wonderful. Exactly, exactly. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes. I mean, I've learned, I wish I, I'm taking mental notes, <laughs> actually. There's, there's so many sides to you. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that we will have you again because you have been, I mean, it's <laughs> great to see such a young woman doing such um, fantastic you. work. Thank if you. I dare ask you your mm -hmm. age range, what's your age range? I wouldn't ask, they say it's impolite to ask your age. <laughs> I actually, I'm not usually afraid or, you know, I don't feel anyhow. I'm actually, I was 28 in May, so this year, Beautiful. 28. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well Wonderful. done. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for Thank being so you. open, transparent. Thank I would pray you. that Thank um, you. you'd achieve more fits and more um, successes. We'll bring you back mm -hmm. again. We look forward to having mm -hmm. that. But in case there are people who want to contact you mm -hmm. because they have interior decoration business mm -hmm. for the one for you, or they, they are single and they want you to pray for them. <laughs> expecting the she prayed for me in January. And look, <laughs> and look at you. you. Exactly. So I should send you. Why have you not been praying for me? But only now. <laughs> so how can people contact you on social media? Um, um, Instagram. Yes. That's, that, I think that's one that I can handle for now. Okay. Twitter, I'm still... Yeah. What's right. So Instagram what's your Instagram handle? handle? Morenica, I'm Mole, Morenica Mole. All right. That's Morenica. So if you're out there and you're confused as to how you want to go about your business, you need some advice, mm -hmm. you want some interior decoration guidance, or you want prayers for a single <laughs> lady or someone expecting the food of the womb, follow her on Instagram at Morenica Mole. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. We're Thank going to a quick break. When we return, Helen and Nigeria will be wrapping up in a bit. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.